James Webb Telescope, how it could uncover some of the universe's best-kept secrets. Martin Barstow, Professor of Astrophysics and Space Science, University of Leicester. If everything goes according to plan, we will soon enter a new era of astronomy. The James Webb Space Telescope, JW Street, the largest and most expensive and complex space telescope ever built, is now in space, heading to its final destination. The launch of the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope on Christmas Day 2021, anticipated for over a decade, was both exciting and terrifying for the thousands of scientists, engineers, managers and support staff who brought the mission to this point. As chair of the Space Telescope Science Institute Council, which will run the operations center for JW Street, I shared their nervousness. JW Street's scientific potential is after all enormous and it could answer some of the biggest questions about the universe. The mysterious early universe. JW Street is often billed as a replacement for the Hubble Space Telescope, but I would prefer to view it as a successor. Hubble has now operated for more than 30 years and given us amazing views of the universe and many thousands of scientific results. We hope and anticipate that it will continue to operate for many more years. But the relatively small 2.4 meter diameter mirror, compared to ground based telescopes, limits its sensitivity and ability to observe the faintest objects. Also, although Hubble has some capability to observe in infrared light, it cannot access the wavelengths of light from the very earliest stars and galaxies. JW Street, however, will be able to do so. It may even be able to see population 3 stars stars that formed from primordial material from the Big Bang, which have never been glimpsed before. Knowing when the first stars were formed, soon after the Big Bang, and understanding how they produced the building blocks of the first galaxies, is an important scientific question and one of the primary science goals of JW Street. We know that the elements that are needed for life and modern technology, such as carbon, silicon and gold, were ultimately created in early stars, but we don't currently have a good understanding of how this happened. The need to detect faint objects in the distant universe has been an important driver for the design of the observatory, determining its size, wavelength coverage and need to keep it very cool to minimize undesirable background light. Studying the first stars and galaxies is not the only scientific program JW Street will perform. It is conceived as a general purpose observatory, on which astronomers from around the world can apply for time to support their research. For example, observing in the infrared will allow JW Street to see through the clouds of dust that enshroud very young stars, which are opaque to visible light. Unlike Hubble, it will be able to see right into stellar nurseries where stars and their planetary systems are being born. The observations will answer questions about how the clouds of dust and gas collapse to form stars and how planetary systems form around them. Exoplanet Habitability when the first plans for JW Street were being discussed more than 20 years ago, no planets were known other than those in our own solar system. Since then, astronomers have discovered thousands of planets orbiting other stars in our galaxy exoplanets. A significant fraction of the JW Street observing program will be devoted to the study of their atmospheres. The wavelength coverage of JW Street is particularly well-tuned to studying molecules in exoplanet atmospheres and the low infrared background from space, giving it a considerable advantage over Earth-based telescopes. Two techniques are available. One takes advantage of the fact that planets can pass in front of their parent star called a transit, creating a dip in the light we see from it. By analyzing the light broken down by wavelength, with great precision before and during a transit, we can probe the planet's atmosphere to unveil what molecules it consists of. Another technique uses a special instrument called a coronagraph to block the light from the parent star to enable direct imaging of the planet and study its atmosphere or surface. This could help unveil whether a planet is suitable for life, perhaps warranting further investigation and one day sending many space probes there. The ultimate goal is to find a planet similar to the Earth, but it would require a very lucky combination of circumstances, because they are likely to be rare in the solar neighborhood and very faint compared to the parent star. Most likely, JW Street will study gas giants like Jupiter, and Saturn or ice giants similar to Uranus and Neptune in our own solar system. None of the known planetary systems resemble our own, with many giant planets in closer orbits than ours, and more extreme heating of their atmospheres and more dynamic weather conditions. In addition to studying planets outside our solar system, JW Street will be able to observe our home planetary system. 
Its great sensitivity will enable the identification and characterization of comets and other icy bodies in the outermost regions of the solar system. In such a remote location, these objects are largely unchanged since their formation, and may contain clues to the origins of Earth, particularly the source of its water, which may be the result of bombardment by such bodies early in its lifetime. JW Street will also be able to observe all the planets that lie outside Earth's orbit of the Sun, studying their atmospheres and seasonal weather variations. Well guys, this video is over, I hope you enjoyed, if you enjoyed, be sure to the like button. Excellent, sick, uh, so I couldn't record this video with my own voice and I decided to use artificial intelligence in this video. Generally, I hope you enjoy, and until the next video. Have a great time.